So I'm not just talking about making a million dollars is going to make you happy because you may reach and make a million dollars in profit and you're you're miserable, you hate what you do, you hate how much it takes you away from your family, from your friend, from the vision that you even had at the beginning. So I'm not saying that reaching a mark like that of a million, several millions, maybe a billion dollar business is going to make you happy. The point I'm trying to tell you is whatever that level that you deem is a level of content, how quickly can you reach that level? What's going on everybody? My name is Salem Sunni and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover their purpose and understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We've been talking about business in Africa, understanding how to do market research, uh, doing it effectively, doing it in a manner that gonna help you make the right decision so you can be able to succeed in business. So we're kind of like, this is the last video about the series on market research, and what we're gonna be talking about profitability today. Is This is a short video. So one of the things I really wanna be able to help you is understand that is being in business, one of the key points you have to understand is to get the profit. Not just have money coming into your business, but become profitable most likely to begin your business is going to start it's going to take some form of investment whether that it might means uh, getting a loan getting some angel investors what it might mean getting something from the bank what it might mean working by yourself getting some money from friends and family to some degree there's going to take some form of investment that it is your goal should be that when you look at the revenue that's coming in minus the expenses that it takes cost of doing business as we discussed in a previous video whatever is remaining that's going to be your profit your profit margin so the goal here i just want to remind many of my business owners out there your goal is as quickly as you can for example if you're starting with uh borrowing money getting money from investors is how quickly can you break even right how quickly can you break even like depending on the number of sales of the product or the service that you that you render to the customers how quickly can you break even so now you can start having profits right so when you look at your projections how many sales you're going to be doing that year you calculate how much it's going to cost you to do a business like you know day to day month to month per quarter per year when you subtract all the the, the amount of money that you you are projecting to get in whatever the difference is you kind of have a ballpark idea of what would be your profits one of the things that has been challenging me today and hopefully in the next i really give myself five the maybe 10 years even if it take 10 years i don't really mind uh is to learn how to really take my business to a million and multiple million dollar business right here's something that personally I, I'm, I'm starting to think about if it takes my business more than a year or two or three years to make over a hundred thousand dollars to me as a slow business that's just my personal belief i'm not saying that you that's how you should apply to your business but you should have a philosophy right how long is it going to take for you to hit what you think is a sustainable uh level of success for you when it comes to profit again profit right so for example if i have a, a business that can generate uh several millions and i have about a million dollar profit right to me if i can do that you know in the next five years I'll be kind of set into my schedule really what I want to take my business to. I talked about understanding the learning curve when I was talking about timing in business, right? Doing your market research, when you look at the market and you think about learning curve, how long is it going to take you for you to reach a level of mastery within your own particular field? Think about this. Mastery is like, how can you become from bad to good to great to phenomenal? To becoming an expert within that particular sector you've mastered the technique you've mastered the art of doing it from then on when you move forward I think that's really when you start producing wealth and from that point forward however long it takes you to really learn that learning curve I, I gave some techniques on how to really condense time frame so you can learn that even quicker so go watch that video it's gonna help you so once you reach that level where the learning curve is kicked in and you really are more sure about your field whatever it is you know you could be um, you know having an ice cream shop or selling hair selling weave you could be uh, doing African fashion whatever the case may be right whether you decide to do so 
how long is it going to take you for you to take your, your business to that level of success, that level of profit that you've always dreamed about? As entrepreneurs, one of the things that we want is control. And when the reality is uh, money is one of the great forms that can give you control over your time, over your life, over many things that you want to do. I, I don't want to make it seem like something just as trivial sometimes as money is you know, the source of happiness. Far from that, there's more people who make a lot of money who are as, as happy, right? So I'm not just talking about making a million dollars gonna make you happy because you may reach and make a million dollars in profit and you're, you're, you're miserable, you hate what you do, you hate how much it takes you away from your family, from your friend, from the vision that you've been had at the beginning. So I'm not saying that reaching a mark like that of a million, several millions, maybe a billion dollar business is gonna make you happy. The point I'm trying to tell you is whatever that level that you deem is a level of content how quickly can you reach that level? So I just wanna to give you something to dug your money as well, to remember you're in business to be profitable. So be profitable. Don't be fooled by money coming into your business. Look at the numbers, like your numbers are so important, right? It's not just based on your gut feeling or the emotions or the excitement of being an entrepreneur or business owners. You have to look at the numbers. Or if you're not so strong at looking at your numbers, get a friend or a partner that, that might be their expertise or have a CPA or an accountant, somebody that can really take care of that. If you can't, you're at the beginning, you cannot afford to get a CPA. Maybe go and talk to a retired CPA, for example, and say, hey, I'm about your lunch. Can you show me, like, help me with these numbers, right? Create friendships with people who are, have a, an area, a strength where you have a weakness. That's gonna be to help you as well in business. Uh, I think that advice alone is a golden nugget, right? I, I've learned this from somebody that I highly respect who told me, listen, the best way to get information from some successful people sometimes is to take them out for lunch. Right? Like, let's say you can't afford to get a CPA, but you know there's a retired CPA, for example, in your neighborhood, in a community, or a contact or friend or somebody you know. So, what you could do is say, Hey, uh, Mr. or Mrs. such and such, uh, can I take you out for lunch? And I have a couple questions regarding to something I'm starting or a business that I have. Uh, if you can give me some pointers, I'll take maybe an hour of your time and go and discuss that there. As you're growing, you're probably going to have to, you know, probably get a your CPA of your own or something like that. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, give this video a thumbs up and more importantly, share and subscribe to the page so you can see more of the upcoming video. Man, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure being on this journey with you guys as we're growing. I'm growing too. If there's other things you want me to discuss, right? There's maybe other things that I might not have an expertise on. So there's only so much I can say on, but maybe I can bring on some people who can speak more clearly about doing that, especially when it comes to Africa. Uh, I'm hopefully, hopefully I'm going to be going back to the motherland uh, sometime in the upcoming months. I'm excited about doing that, asking people who are on the ground, really, what do they want to hear? How do they see Africa moving forward in terms of business, in terms of uh, culture, and in terms of just the growth of the awareness of what can be done back there. So I'm super excited about that. I want to see more African success stories. But remember, you guys very best. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.